Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at the Magic Kingdom and there are a ton of new food items all around the park. So I wanted to come out and try some of them and show you guys. We have the new Tron food that's available, which looks absolutely amazing and I've been looking forward to trying it. And then also some hot dogs at the launching pad over in Tomorrowland. So I figured we come on out, ride some rides, eat some food, and just have a beautiful Magic Kingdom kind of day. Anywho's, Let's go do this. And we have made it to the Magic Kingdom, the world's most magical celebration, which is actually ending in just a couple of days. And honestly, I wasn't the biggest fan of the 50th anniversary, but I'm excited to celebrate Disney 100. The 50th anniversary ends at the end of the month and Epcot is going to be start doing more Disney 100 things and I'm excited. There's going to be Disney 100 themed food and we just got back from Disneyland and they've been doing the Disney 100 celebration for a while over there. So I'm excited to see it here in Florida. I think we're going to make our way right on over to Tomorrowland and check out the Tron situation. I did not get one of the boarding groups this morning, but I don't think you need it to actually try the food. Tron officially opens up April 4th and right now they're just doing like soft openings but you do need to get a virtual queue to actually go to the soft opening and when it does open it's going to be doing the virtual queue or a lightning lane and that's the only two ways that you're going to be able to actually ride the attraction and it's going to be busy it's going to be hard to get for a while but uh, I believe this is the first virtual queue in Magic Kingdom I think every other park except for Animal Kingdom has had a virtual queue before the first time here I'm, I'm I'm pretty positive. Like I mentioned before, the lunching pad has some new hot dogs and some new breakfast items too. I wish I was able to get the breakfast items. So we'll come back to those. Right now, like I said, I wanna make my way over into the Tron area and I wanna make sure that we can get in. I have already rode Tron a couple of times and if you guys want to watch I made a really good video showcasing how people with bigger statues and larger calves actually fit in the motorbike itself. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. Today it's more about the food and if I had the opportunity to ride I probably would ride again. And we have made it into the Tron area. Like I said, you don't need to get a virtual queue to come over here and just look at the ride go. And then also to actually get something to eat from the energy bite stand right here. That's where all the food is at. And we're gonna be trying a little bit of everything there. Here is a look at the food items. They've got beef and broccoli digital dumplings. They have buffalo chicken digital dumplings. And it's awesome because the uh, buffalo chicken one comes with dehydrated blue cheese. And they're about $8 a piece. Then they have a chocolate cake donut holes, a strawberry ice of foam, isoform? That looks really interesting. And then a watermelon refresher. So I think I'm gonna get the actual food first, then come back and probably get the desserts and maybe, uh, maybe the watermelon refresher. Like I said, I wanna get it all. I'm pretty wise to this game and I know if I just get all the food at once, it's probably gonna either get cold or melt. So I'm just gonna do two at a time and then we'll go back and forth. All right, well here are the first two items that we're gonna try and they're both the dumplings. We have the beef and broccoli and then the buffalo chicken and I'm not too sure how I'm gonna like the dehydrated blue cheese on there. I can smell it. It's very, it's a very strong smelling cheese. But these right here, these look so good. They look like the wontons that they used to serve at California Grill. So I think I'm gonna dive into this one first. I really don't think there's an easy way of doing this. So I'm just gonna grab one just like this. Oh, look at that. It's actually soaking. Look at that. This is gonna be really good. And then we're just gonna go in for it, take a bite. I'm gonna try my best not to drip this all over my shirt, but here we go. Well, I think I have failed at not trying to drip it all over myself because it ended up going all over myself. But I do have to say, these are delicious. They honestly taste almost identical to the uh, wontons from the California Grill. Not spicy though, very flavorful, and I like it a lot. I would definitely get these again. These are actually really enjoyable. And it's cool to see some unique food around the park. Not just like hamburgers and hot dogs. Disneyland does a great job with this. But Disney World's been lacking. So this is a big step up for uh, Florida. A big step. Alright, I'm going in for the buffalo chicken ones. I'm a little bit nervous because like I said, you can really, really smell that blue cheese in there. I'm going to actually try to pick off a little bit. 
Like, I don't want it. You know what I mean? I'm not the biggest fan of blue cheese, but I do love buffalo chicken. And I do love dumplings. So maybe I can ask for it without it, but I wanted to show you guys. So here we go. The buffalo chicken one. And you can hear the screams from Tron in the background. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but I can hear it. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. It tastes good. I'm not too sure how I feel about the chicken in there, though. It's got a unique texture, and I really don't taste a lot of buffalo sauce. Like, it's not spicy at all. I don't know. I think I like the beef ones better. I think the beef ones are way better, actually. And I'm not saying that because I don't like blue cheese, because I didn't really eat much blue cheese. Those are just the core ingredients that I'm talking about. I mean, there's still, I mean, it's still interesting. I would rather a buffalo turkey leg. I mean, now that would be fancy. I mean, if you just look at them both side by side, you can definitely tell that these ones are better. Look at this. That's all inside there. It looks so good. That one kind of just slid out of there, so it's like a meatball in there. Look at that, one meatball. But I don't have like the uh, dumpling part of it. It's just the meatball. I'm actually sitting and eating down by the entrance to Storybook Circus, and I ran into a friend who uh, says uh, another friend's birthday is coming around, yes. right? Uh, happy birthday, Keisha. Well, happy birthday. And hello to uh, my daughters, my girls. Oh, nice. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> Very cool. Well, thanks so much, John. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. It's honestly like they just plopped the meatball right inside there. Just put a little meatball in there. Same thing with this. They just put like a little chicken nugget in there. This is really unique. I mean, like I said, I'm just impressed at seeing something new and something different in the parks, you know? Now that we've gotten the dumpling business out of the way, it's time to head back up, get one of those fancy little drinks and some of the desserts, and then take it probably back down here near the Storybook Circus, because this is really pretty. Now I think I'm going to get the watermelon refresher, and this looks actually really good. It's a frozen drink, and it comes with use the citrus, ginger, and then popping candies, so it's probably Pop Rocks, but I'm really excited. Here's a picture of it up here, and this did not look like the dumpling I just got. I mean, this doesn't look as appetizing as the one that I actually got, so that's kind of funny. Here it is, the watermelon refresher, and it's in a fancy glass. Look at this. Like, this, I feel like this is a fine dining establishment, what they put in here. Oh, look, you can actually see on the bottom, it's a little bit of a layer drink. Now it's time for the taste test. Now, they didn't give me a straw, so we're just going to go for it. It's, you know, it's not that sweet. It's not that sweet. I'm not too sure how I feel about it. Wait, I'm gonna have to take it one more time. I mean, I like it. It's, it doesn't really taste refreshing, refreshing for me though. I think I made a mistake because I feel like you need to have a straw because I didn't taste any of the frozen watermelon. So I went back up and I got myself a straw and this way I think I can try the whole drink at once. I think what I was getting was just like the not watermelon, you know what I mean? I have to give it a fair shot and drink it with the straw to see what it's like. So here we go. Much better. Very refreshing. You need to have a straw. You need to drink out of it. I didn't know their straws were right next door. I just thought it was something fancy, you know? But I like it. I do like it. It actually sits good with me once you get all the combination of flavors. Very, very interesting. The only thing I don't like is how small it is. Like, this is a very slim little glass here because I could probably drink this in two or three gulps and it would be done with. I actually finished up all of my watermelon refresher. Now it's time to head back in line and get a dessert. I've waited in this line, I think, three times so far. That's dedication right there. All right, here are the desserts. I got the strawberry isoform, which honestly doesn't look as good as the photo. Like, it looks nothing like the photo. And this is strawberry ice cream mochi with graham crackers and a hint of cheesecake foam on top. And then also I got the chocolate donuts here. Now these, these look like the meatballs that I had before in the wontons, but they look so good. And they've got mocha sauce on the bottom there. It's almost just like the dumplings. Look, I'm gonna show you, like it's literally soaking in mocha sauce down there. Look at that. You can drink that when you're done. So we're gonna dive in. I think I'm gonna do this one first since it's on there. 
There's also a uh, Joffrey's cold brew with mocha milk up there I'm gonna get later on. But here we go with this. We're gonna try the donut. No! Oh. This is actually pretty good. I mean, the donuts themselves don't taste like anything special, but if you get a lot of that sauce, and you gotta get a lot of it. Look at that. I, I'm pretty sure this is exactly what they put in the coffee. Then it's actually really delicious. And yes, I dribbled some of that sauce on my shirt already. I destroyed this shirt. It's brand new. I just got it in. It's the spring collection of Roosevelt, and I'm dropping chocolate sauce all over it while eating chocolate donuts that look like meatballs. All right, now it's time to get to the mochi. Gonna grab some of it right here. Gotta get a little bit of everything there. The presentation of this really wasn't that great, but it looks fun. It looks interesting, at least. Mmm! I like that a lot. Okay. I do enjoy this a lot. Very refreshing. I love the mochi in here. This is good. This is like, this is next level good. And you can really taste the strawberry in there. I'll definitely be getting this again. I'll probably, I would have to say this, the strawberry over the chocolate donuts. I mean, I got to. They look completely different, but this one is where it's at. And the cheesecake foam is actually not that bad. I'm, I'm really shocked with this. All right, we're making our way back up again. We're gonna get the Joffrey's coffee cold brew with mocha sauce. I went back and grabbed the coffee mocha here. Well, the, the Joffrey's nitro cold brew, not nitro, Joffrey's cold brew with mocha sauce. And it looks really good. The coffee looks a little weak though. I thought it was gonna be a little bit stronger than that. And it looks like all of the mocha milk just kinda sinks to the bottom there. Like it's all just down there. So if I drink this with a straw, I'm just gonna get a whole bunch of mocha at first. But here we go, cheers, the last item. Man, that's all just coffee right there. I need to find a way. I gotta mix this up a little bit. Luckily, I've got a fork in my pocket. <laughs> I'm gonna mix it right together. Look at that. That's what you gotta do. Now it's looking a little bit better. That's what you're talking about. Let's give this another shot. Much better, much better. Very good. I don't think I'd walk all the way over here to get this. I think I'd rather stop at Starbucks or Joffrey's like over around the corner, but it's not too bad. It, it, it's pretty good, especially if you're gonna be in line for three hours when they eventually get rid of the virtual queue. You might wanna grab one of these on your way in. I'm so lucky these shirts don't actually stain up. And if I just go get some water, I can rub it right out and it'll disappear. But it kind of blends in. You can't even tell I spilled something on my shirt. Oh wait, never mind. I guess you can see a lot of it there. Yeah, <laughs> you can see a lot of it. That's all that special uh, uh, sauce that they actually put inside the uh, beef and broccoli dumplings. I think it's a ginger or soy sauce. It's time to move out of the Tron area. It was cool hanging out back there, but it's very loud because of the music. The music gets you super pumped for the ride. Trust me, I love that music, but it's really hard when you're actually filming something like down away from the ride itself. And now I'm gonna make my way over to the People Mover, maybe go for a lap. Maybe go for a lap on the People Mover or do Astro Orbiter. I wanna do something all in Tomorrowland because that's where we're gonna get in our, our next snack is over at the launching pad because they have all those new hot dogs. I figured since we were doing Tron food, we might as well uh, go for a lap around the People Mover. It actually used to say Tron on the People Mover sign. How funny is that? If you go to my Instagram, Paging Mr. Mario, recently I went to the Walt Disney Archives and they had a People Mover sign from the old attraction and it said People Mover through the world of Tron in the back there. How cool is that? And that was hanging. This is the, uh, this is the office, the offices at the Walt Disney Archives. Isn't that so cool? I zoomed in a little bit closer so you guys can see it. I love that. That is so awesome. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you should go follow me because I get to post stuff on there that I'm not able to make videos about. Like I went to Walt Disney Studios, the archive, Walt Disney Imagineering, and all I can take is photos, so I posted them all on Instagram, and it was, it was such an amazing thing. I loved it so much. 
that sign was from Disneyland and I think it was from 1982 to 1995 but since Tron opened up here in the Magic Kingdom I could see them bringing it back both Tron and the people mover are presented by Enterprise so you never know bring it back that's what I say bring it back this is definitely the best ride for people watching. Oh, look at Space Mountain almost blends into the sky there. Look, it looks like a cloud almost. That is really nifty. My favorite part of the People Mover is this first takeoff. It's so awesome. All right, we're going to start picking up speed right here. Oh, boy. This is the TTA Blue Line, non-stop service around the world. To travelers, welcome aboard the People Move, presented by Enterprise. I'm Mark Five, your guide aboard this highway in the sky, the absolute best way to see Tomorrowland. And my stars, is there ever lots to see? From spacecraft to monster maps, there's really nothing like today in Tomorrowland. The next station is Tomorrowland Urban Planning and Star Traders. Transfer to Green and Red Lines. Don't worry, your express train keeps on rolling through the future. I'd buy two of my favorite spots. Amazing dream for a community of tomorrow. Did you know Progress City inspired Epcot? And a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. Look, there's even a tiny people over. No Tomorrowland Speedway and Tron Light Cycle Run. I love a good circuit, and these are two of the best tracks in the cosmos for a bit of light speed competition. There's Tron. I think it's a lot better outside than once you first get into Space Mountain. To your right is the Astro Orbiter, our celestial symbol of interplanetary harmony and fellowship. Hop aboard and launch high above Tomorrowland for a spin amongst the planets. The People Mover always puts me in a good mood and it's the perfect ride for people watching. Now I want to check in about those hot dogs. I'm not too sure if I'm going to get one though. I had a lot of the food that's down there and I'm not ready if to put a whole hot dog down. I mean, you know what I mean? I'll look at them though, maybe, maybe. Here is a look at some of the new hot dogs. They've got a queso fondue hot dog. Hog dog. They got a hog dog. That sounds actually really funny. That looks good actually though. I might want to get that. Except for like the I don't know about the street corn relish. Then they've got a Bon Mi hot dog with vegetable, pickled vegetable, sriracha mayonnaise. And then they got a Cuban hot dog right here. An all beef hot dog with Swiss fondue. This looks all good. It's $12.99 and then you get chips and oranges with them. But I don't think I can do it. Can't do it today. All right, enough of the hog dog business. I was really funny. I mean, I was reading like hot dog, but it was actually hog dog. I should have gotten one, but like I said, I really wasn't in the mood for a hot dog right now. And now I think we're gonna move along, make our way to Adventureland. I wouldn't mind getting a little drink though. I'm a little bit parched. So I need something like nice and refreshing. I could probably go for another one of those watermelon refreshers actually. I'm not really looking for anything to eat, but if we were in Disneyland and I was uh, in Adventureland, I'd definitely be getting one of those pork bao buns. They are so good. Or I'd be going to Bengal Barbecue right away. It would be right here. Since we're over in Adventureland, I think we're going to go ride Pirates of the Caribbean. It's actually a low wait time. It's only 30 minutes and I kind of want to ride it. I love Pirates. It's always one of my favorite smells and it just makes me feel like I'm on vacation every time I do get the chance to go on it. 
I can smell the bromine already, and I'm excited. I like it. enjoy a nice little ride on pirates now we're gonna keep moving along maybe haunted mansion maybe another snack i mean we're just gonna keep uh hanging out and doing whatever whatever we feel fancy for as we're making our way into Frontierland, I wanted to show you a little bit of Tiana's Bayou Adventure and uh, the progress that they're doing. They removed all of the Splash Mountain signage, even down at the play area there. And they got all the scaffolding there and uh, it's gonna be almost gone. Tiana's food, employee owned, coming soon. Look at that. I think we're gonna make our way over to the Haunted Mansion. It's starting to get dark out and it's starting to get like a nice little pretty sunset. Not so much here, but on the other side. And I'm always looking at these birds over here. They go crazy because they like to put all of the turkey legs in that trash can so the birds kind of go after them. We're doing all the classics today. The People Mover, Pirates, and now the Haunted Mansion. This is actually a fun day. I thought I spotted some new Haunted Mansion stuff and I did. Look at this. Wow, what kind of flannel is that? That is so nifty looking. Then they've got this one right here. I also like this as well. This is really cool because it's like one of those built-in ones. There's a lot of good new stuff. Got a little button up right there. Very fancy. Got a t-shirt over here. I don't think these dresses are new, but still really cool seeing new Haunted Mansion stuff. I still think we need more though. Look at the view of the Haunted Mansion from right here. Wouldn't you love to go up there and just knock on the door? I would love that so much. I want to stand on that balcony and take a photo. That'd be like a once in a lifetime photo. They gotta have, I mean, some people probably have been up there. You know, Imagineers and cast members. But as a guest, it'd be a dream for me to go up there. We're actually going to be going on the Haunted Mansion during the daytime and then when we get off it's probably going to be night out. It's going to, it's going to get dark real quick and I kind of like that because it's going to be so dark in there and then when we come out it's going to match it. Or is it your imagination? Hmm. And consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. <laughs> of course, there's always my way.
we almost got evac'd out of the haunted mansion well we were stopped for an extended amount of time and we were in the last room with little leota and i was going to be so upset if that was the one time that we get evacuated like at the last room that's the ride i probably would want to get evac'd off the most like how cool would it be to walk through the haunted mansion and now like i said it's dark out and it's time to start probably making our way out and heading back down main street As I was making my way down Main Street, I decided to stop at Tony's and see if they had any availability for a walk-up. I wouldn't mind getting myself some good soup and sit out on the balcony, maybe even watch the fireworks, because you can watch the fireworks from the balcony, where you can see them and hear them a little bit. And they said yes. So, uh, looks like we're gonna have a late dinner at Tony's Town Square Restaurant. This restaurant is one of those restaurants where a lot of people don't like the food. They say it's like a, it's like a glorified Olive Garden. But honestly, I don't think it's that bad. I think it's pretty delicious. And I figured I'd show you guys all the food that you can get. I mean, it's pretty authentic, you know? First things first, we got ourselves some Zuppa Descani, the best soup at Tony's. Look at that kale and sausage in there. And we also got some breadsticks too. Look at this. Oh, hot and fresh breadsticks. Complimentary. Complimentary breadsticks. Just can't go wrong with some Zuppa Toscani. And then also they have a cool little pad on the table now where you get to play games while you eat. Look at how magical this is. Disney hits. Look at that, Moana, how far I'll go. That's really, really cool. Into the unknown. I like it. Another really cool thing Tony started doing is endless soup and breadsticks and salads and you can actually swap out your soups. So we started with the Zupa Toscana and now we're having the chicken ganache. <laughs> the chicken ganache is my favorite just like grandma used to make it. And I cannot wait to dive in. Look I got a little ganache right on the spoon here. Ganache. Woo. And then finally for the main course we've got the rigatoni with the meatballs and the meat sauce. Look at that. This is the best. Tony's is really stepping up their game. And for dessert, you can't forget about the tiramisu. Tiramisu, this is perfect. It really just makes you feel like your family. That was a beautiful Italian dinner, just like Mama used to make, and I loved it. Obviously, you guys can tell that I wasn't at Tony's Town Square. I just thought it was a little bit funny. I figured I'd add it in, just for a little humor. And now we are home, and it's time to go see Gracie Girl. I'm looking for Gracie Girl. Is there one here? There she is! Oh, look at you, gritty girl. You wanna go for a walk? And with that, we are done here today. A fun little adventure at Magic Kingdom, and I liked most of the Tron food. It was pretty good. I mean, the buffalo chicken ones, I'm not the biggest fan. I didn't like the dehydrated blue cheese, but I also didn't like the chicken on the inside. I would have to say my favorite thing was, like I said, the uh, beef and broccolini dumplings. They were good. And then I got to enjoy some rides and just relax. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.